breaking. Welcome to today's headline. Gunmen attack police checkpoint. Kill officers. Bon vehicle in Anambra. Gunmen attack police checkpoint. Kill officers. Bon vehicle in Anambra. To my daily listeners from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and I welcome you to today's news. Gunmen on Saturday attacked a police checkpoint at the Idemili Obose interchange on the Onisha Oweri Road, Anambra State, killing two policemen and burning the cops' patrol vehicle. Punch Metro gathered that about 10 policemen were at the checkpoint when the incident happened. When our correspondent visited the scene on Sunday, he observed that the checkpoint had been cleared. There was also free movement of vehicles as the remains of the cop were said to have been deposited in a morgue. A tricycle operator who identified himself simply as Okechuku Okuchuku said the police checkpoint created gridlock on the road. He said the traffic almost got to Upper Iweka Junction. At a point, it became a no-movement situation on both lanes of the road. I was in the traffic when we suddenly had gunshots, and before you knew it, everybody, including the policemen, started running. They shot two policemen dead and burnt their vehicle. Another passerby who did not mention her name said, This place was brutal yesterday, Saturday. I think their target were the policemen who mounted a checkpoint which caused a horrific traffic situation on both lanes, made worse by the ongoing road construction. And that is the reason this road is very free today because there is no checkpoint. The state police, public relations officer Ikenga Tochuku, who confirmed the incident to our correspondent, on Sunday said two policemen were killed. He said what happened on Saturday around 5.20 p.m. along the Obosi Idemili flyover is an example of the price we pay as police officers in service to the nation and humanity. Three of the armed men were demobilized while two police personnel paid the supreme price. The police also recovered the rifles of the slain officers, a Lexus SUV, one of the operational vehicles of the armed hoodlums, was also recovered. The operation is still ongoing, further details shall be communicated. The Anambra State Police Command is firm and the personnel are more motivated in providing security services until the current security concern is reduced to the barest minimum and overcome. Gunmen on Saturday attacked the police checkpoint at the Idemili Obosi interchange on the Onisha Oweri Road. Anambra states killing two policemen and burning the cops' patrol vehicle. Porch Metro gathered that about 10 policemen were at the checkpoint when the incident happened. When our correspondent visited the scene on Sunday, he observed that the checkpoint had been cleared. There was also free movement of vehicles as the remains of the cops were said to have been deposited in a morgue. A tricycle operator who identified himself simply as Okuchuku said the police checkpoint created gridlock on the road. He said the traffic almost got to Upper Iweka Junction at a, at a point it became a no movement situation on, on both lanes of the road. I was in the traffic when we suddenly heard gunshots, and before you knew it, everybody, including the policemen, started running. They shot two policemen dead and burnt their vehicle. Another passerby, who did not mention a name, said, This place was brutal yesterday, Saturday. I think their target were the policemen who mounted a checkpoint, which caused a horrific traffic situation on both lanes, made worse by the ongoing road construction, and that is the reason this road is very free today, because there is no checkpoint. 
the state police public relations officer, Ikenga Tsuchuku, who confirmed the incident to our correspondent on Sunday, said two policemen were killed. He said what happened on Saturday around 5.20 p.m. along the Obosi Demili flyover is an example of the price we pay as police officers in service to the nation and humanity. Three of the armed men were demobilized, while two police personnel paid the supreme price. The police also recovered the rifles of the slain officers. A Lexus SUV, one of the operational vehicles of the armed hoodlums, was also recovered. The operation is still going, it's still ongoing. Further details shall be communicated. The Anambra State Police Command is firm and the personnel are more motivated in providing security services until the current security concern is reduced to the barest minimum and overcome the point. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, let's move to the comment section. And before that, there's something I would love to address about the police recently. These people are always, are always to be at the checkpoint, causing a lot of old ops. They are always meant to be like that. If actually, let's see. In, in this, this source, it didn't explain that they didn't say they killed any of the armed men. So the out of the 10 people who are the who are the checkpoints none of them could easily dropped could easily drop to one of the unknown gunmen down none of them were were down we are only told that they only recovered lexus suv but their own two patrol vans were being were being raised it was being uh, burnt up we don't they are not gallant yes they are not first comment which i have says why not has always risen like an animal People are being killed every blessed day. They don't see it. They don't talk about it. It is only anything happen. It is only anything about Igbo. They will carry it on their head. Why? You don't like Igbo people. Why can't you be your own? Let us be on our own. Simple guys are evil. Demons. And the last comment which I have here says, That's why I like soldiers. One soldier, five houses. Ten people, five vehicles must be down. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.